This is MMA Plus here at Bama 12 with Judo Jimmy Warhead. You return to Bama, you wasted very little time in taking care of business. Split him open with some sharp elbows before <laughs> submitting him. Can you talk us through the finish and how you got there? I don't know how we got there. I just remember dropping him with something. I can't really, it's all a blur, isn't it? So I watch it back, but I remember dropping him um, with something. Uh, yeah, a bit of ground and pound. Because he was bleeding and landed a big elbow from the guard. I uh, seen that open him up. Uh, Gave me a nice big lump on my elbow as well, I felt that. Um, and then, yeah, just he took a beating, man. You know what I mean? I was, there were some good shots I landed there. I thought, this is going to get stopped or he's going he's gonna to go out. Um, but no, he stayed in there, kept trying to improve his position. I didn't gas, but you know, you get your second win. I was like, oh, I'll slow this down in a minute before I do punch myself out. So I slow it, slowed it down a little bit. Um, and then my corner said, look, you know, take the back, innit? So I just took the back, finished it. So. We saw you turn up today. Looking focused, you spent a lot of time in the cage before before the event started. Coming out in your gi, how are you feeling coming into this fight? I feel yeah, like uh, yeah, like I was saying to everyone, I feel like um, this is the new Jimmy Warlaid and it's the start of my career. Um, I've never had everything right as far as training, nutrition. My, my mindset's never been right when I fight. I just fight on pure aggression, and that's why I get tired and make mistakes and sometimes fight shit because I fucking blow myself out in the changing room by overthinking and stuff and being aggressive and, and like I said on my last interview I just stood at the runway on the way out and uh, I was I was nervous not bad but like I thought this something's not right because I felt so relaxed I had to turn to Dean Amundsen and say bro is this alright because I'm fucking I like, felt like this it was weird man I've never been that relaxed well I have been that relaxed when I used to start fighting in my corner tonight my first ever corner when I started fighting was um, when I joined Rough House it was Owen Comrie um, Lee Livingston and Dan Harder, yeah, that was my corner. And then over the years, it's changed off. But I remember that was always the corner where I always felt happiest and most composed. Uh, obviously, Dan's not here, but now my, my overstride coach, Owen King, I work with four times a week. He's in there. So I've got Owen King, Owen Conway, and Lee Livingston. So I've gone back to like, my original corner. And uh, yeah, it's felt really, really good. It felt really good. You talk about the new Jimmy Woolhead. What, what things about your training, perhaps, did you mix up coming, <laughs> coming in now? It's new Jimmy, Jimmy Woolhead. Well, just. Um, I've kept Owen, Owen Conway as my striking coach because he's always been my striking guy. I, I couldn't throw a punch to the that guy. Um, but he works a lot. I only get to see him like once or twice a week. So Owen King came in as the head striking coach of Rough House. Uh, added a new structure and stuff. And uh, basically working with him four times a week. I, 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 well, tonight I get a chance to kick. And I've got a, a dodgy knee, actually. But I probably want to kick tonight anyway. But my kick has been getting a lot better. Throwing some funky spinning shit in the gym. Building some confidence there. Some high kicks. So... I'm adapting my game. Got a new wrestling coach, Trevor Hoskins, at Rough House now. Um, like I said, my takedown defense has always been good, and I've always been confident. But I feel like my attacking wrestling is getting better as well. Um, so I think in the next few fights, people might see me have the confidence to start taking people down again, like I did back in the day. Because I come a bit one-dimensional. I've become a boxer with just good takedown. And I know that's all I did tonight, yeah. But I am adding to my game, and uh, I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'm growing mentally, physically. Like I say, good nutrition, good coaches, good people, good mindset. Happy. <laughs> How much has the new hairstyle played a part as well? Everything. I think if I shave my hair now, I'm going to turn into a pussy. <laughs> I think I, I think I need to go for your look. I think if I grow my hair as long as yours, I'll fuck up GSP. Yeah, we, we, we had a we had a schedule mix up. I was supposed to have a haircut, but nah, man, yeah. nah, don't do that. It's a good look. I might go for it in ginger. Samson. Yeah, Samson. Samson. That's it. That's it, man. That's that's why. That's all down to the hair. <laughs> uh, looking ahead to the future, you're you're one of, if not the biggest face here on Bama now. Uh, are you looking forward for the world title? Is that what you want? Yeah, eventually. Like I say, man, obviously that's what I want to be. That's why I'm here. That's why I signed with Bama. I love Bama. You know, I've had the best three experiences in my career here with Bama now. Um, I love everything about it. I love the people who run it. I love the atmosphere. I love fighting from the UK fans. I love fighting on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love it. <laughs> you, got, you got a perfect opponent in mind? No. Okay. No. I don't. No, not, not at all. Whoever. You know, Bama always, you know, they've got me free. The three fights I've had, I've had Frank Trigg, Joey Valista and Matt Beach, man. They're three great fights, do you know what I mean? So I know they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll get me a, a good opponent. So it's up to them. So as well as but the Bama matchmaker, is there anyone else you'd like to thank? Everyone at Bama. Okay. Absolutely everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations once again. This is MMA Plus at Bama 12.